What's up, guys? It's Casey Zilkman, aka okay, the Fort Sanderson sister, coming at you with another Hocus Pocus merch review video. In today's video, I'm gonna review my Hocus Pocus Funko collection that I currently own. No, I do not have all of them. Two of them, I want to tell you, Billy and Danny are on my desk at work. Not this work, other work, main work. That's where they are. I didn't grab them, so they're still there. You're just getting the Sanderson sister ones that I own today. Um, so, <laughs> Funkos! So, Funkos! We're looking at Funkos. They have never been opened, nor do I ever intend to open them. So, they are going to stay in their box, and I will describe to you everything I can. Um, so, you guys will be able to see what I own. I'll hold them up. At such a, you know how this works. You've watched enough of these to know how this works. So we're gonna. I'm gonna start with the oldest to the newest in terms of ownership. Um, probably release as well. So the very first one is my Winifred Sanderson pop from the original. This is the first line um, of the pops. Uh, is Winnie. Winnie is holding her potion and her broom, as you can see on the side of the box here. You can't see it all the way because her lovely picture. Um, but it is there. So this is my Winnie Funko. So this is the first series um, of the Sanderson sisters. I do like how Winnie looks. They didn't give her eyebrows, which I appreciate because most things do. And they forget that she don't have them. So, good job on you guys uh, for doing that. Um, but yeah, she has her little potion bottle, which you can see. If I turn it this way, you can see the broom. Um, the detail on the dress is great. They've got the symbols and everything in there. Try to get it a little closer, but I don't know that you're going to be able to see it due to the whole camera reflection situation. So, I hope you guys like that. So, that's Winifred. Oh my god, I've got so many of these. I'm not going to be able to stack them places. So we're going to look at Mary next. Here's Mary's. Um, she does not hold two things. She holds one thing, which is her vacuum. As you can see, the Hoover is in there. <laughs> the hovering Hoover is inside. Um, her hair turned out great on this one. I like it. They got her uh, purple highlights in there, which now matches my hair. You can't really tell because it's super dark, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so um, her outfit looks great. They even got the plaid on her underskirt like nobody does. So good job on that pop, um, or Funko, I should say. And this is the first Mary Sanderson pop that came out. I don't remember when these started coming out. I'm sure editing me will pop up a date in the, uh, in the old subtitles. Um, but there you go. So there's Mary. There's Mary. Mary version one. Um, and speaking of version one, here's version one of Sarah. Sarah's next. These are a little dusty because they've been up on my shelf. They're a display thing. So we have Sarah's next. Um, they did her hair a little wavy, uh, to constitutes, you know, the whole back and forth between curly and wavy dealio, uh, from the first movie. Um, she looks really cute. She's got her mop. She's got her mop in there. Um, there, you can see it a little bit better. Uh, she's got her mop that she rode. Now, they all are in their cloaks in this collection. Um, so they're in their cloaks right now. Uh, getting ready to fly. Um, and they even got the little bag on her, uh, skirt, which I'm impressed by, that they even noticed that little detail. They got her colors right on her clothes. They did really, really good on Sarah here. I was very happy with her. She, she's so cute. She's so cute. All the pops are cute, though. You can take the scariest villains there ever were, and pops will make them adorable. Um, so now we're moving into version two. Version two of the sisters, um... They have different things, obviously, to the first one. They're still in their cloaks. Um, Winifred actually does kind of have eyebrows in this one, but it's kind of hard to tell. They're really, really faint, but they did it enough to, like, furrow her and make her look a little more rare. <laughs> um, because she is shooting lightning at us in this one. She's shooting lightning out of her fingers. As she should. You can see a better picture on the box here. Um, which I think is cute. I think it's adorable. I love this pop. I like this pop. I like all my pops, but I like this pop. I like that they gave her her lightning. Still got all the details and everything. You're going to see them start piling up closer to the three back there, four back there. Book's going to be like, I'm getting squashed in a bit. So, uh, version two of Mary. This made me laugh 
when I first saw that this is what they were going with. They gave her to hold, not a potion paddle. No, 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 not like that. No, they gave her her remote control and the bowl of Cheetos. I'm done. This made me cackle so hard when it first came out. Because I was like, you guys went there. You went there, and I appreciate the joke. So, so I really like this little differentiation uh, between <laughs> those. Now, with this one in particular, I kind of wish she hadn't been in her cloak because she wasn't wearing it in the devil's house whenever this whole shenanigans was going on. But that's okay. It's a minor complaint. Minor complaint. Uh, but I really like this one. I really like it. You can see on the side of the box. Remote control and Cheetos. Done. <laughs> like dead so funny okay so the next one is sarah's version two sarah <laughs> no lucky rat tail surprisingly no lucky rat tail no no it's the spider <laughs> it's the spider that she eats in that famous scene that was just so funny <laughs> it's just so funny um so yeah she's holding a spider again she's in a cloak she wasn't wearing a cloak whenever that happened in the movie but that's okay um but yeah the, the spider is in her hand ready to be a sneaky snack uh, um although it's way bigger in pop form than uh that it might take more than just the two bites so there you go there's sarah version two now we're moving on to version three! <laughs> version three are the sisters on their brooms, which when this got announced, I was like, I gotta have these. And then for Christmas that year, you just saw the big cloud of dust go poof, right off of this box. <laughs> uh, version three, when I saw these of them on their brooms, oh lord, I got so I got so excited. Um, and it's great, because it is their brooms, I think. No, it actually is their secondary flying devices. I was wrong. So this is the sweeping broom that was used for Winnie. Um, again, they kind of gave her brows, but that was just so you could see that she was angry. But they left them light enough that it doesn't count. So it's great. She's doing a little scary hand, like she's about to zap the crap out of us. I love these my mom that year i kept telling her all year i was like i can't find these anywhere i can't find them anywhere i opened a box on christmas day all three of these were inside and i lost my mind so that's winnie on her flying implement then speaking of flying implements it's mary on the vacuum the most iconic thing ever they even have it to where i don't know if you can see it because it's way in the back they have the cord hanging down like that's a you can see it on the side of the box that's a nice little touch <laughs> it's a nice touch that you even have the cord hanging down funko that's that's pretty great that, that's pretty great <laughs> um so there you go there's mary on her broom everything looked awesome with this i loved this these might be my favorite <laughs> these might be my favorite because who doesn't love it when they're on their brooms um or in this case vacuum <laughs> so there's mary's version three um of her on the broom and then we have sarah on her mop <laughs> i have it dusted i don't dust very often and i probably should um <laughs> but we got sarah on her broom i'm gonna be honest with you I haven't taken as close a look at, at these in a while. <laughs> the way she's bent over, they even got her uh, cleavage, <laughs> her chesticles <laughs> um, on the go. <laughs> and I don't know why I find that so funny, but I do. That they took the time to even think about doing that. <laughs> It's amazing. But I like how they did her cape. Her cape is the most, like, you can tell she's flying um, out of the three of them. I do love that. But I love it. I love them on their brooms, and, or broom mop and vacuum. I just, that's, that's wonderful. Okay, so this is not a complete set, because somebody keeps trying to get away from me, and I can't find her anywhere, and it's not fair. But these are the Hocus Pocus 2 sisters that I have so far. So this is Mary's, 
Um, she's got her magic rising up around her, which kind of look like hell flames, honestly. And I'm just kind of like, Super Saiyan Mary would scare me a little bit. <laughs> it would scare me just a little bit of her being in Super Saiyan mode. It's over 9,000! Uh, but there's that one. Uh, so they changed up how they did her hairstyle a little bit in this one, and I want to point that out real quick. Where's, where's one of the other ones? There it is. Okay, you can kind of see the difference between the, between the two. I almost dropped them. Did you see that? Um, <laughs> her uh, pumpkin stem hairdo is a little more up in twos than it is in the first one, which is appropriate because her hair was a little more up in twos rather than the first one. So good eye, Funko. Good eye. Good job. Good job. Good job on the details. But I think they almost added too much purple. <laughs> like... I had to squint to see that she still had the purple highlights in Hocus Pocus 2. So I think they may have put that there to be like, yo, they're still there. But at the same time, like, yo, you put too much purple. <laughs> like, easy there, Skeeter. <laughs> Dial back on the purple just a little bit. But other than that, I love this rendition of Mary. They even got the fact that her nails were polished in 2. And they were not in one, and I just, I love that they got that little detail on there. <sighs> She's got her cloak on, and then of course is the, what I think are hell flames coming up around her Super Saiyan Mary's a scary thought. Um, so there's that for Hocus Pocus 2's Mary, and now we have Hocus Pocus 2 Sarah. Um, they went, they got her part down the middle right, whereas in the first one it was parted to the side. Um, they got that right for her. They got it to, hers was way more curly wavy in the second movie than it was in the first one. In certain scenes. <laughs> in certain scenes! Um, which I like that they got her hair right for this one. Her little, uh, purple energies coming up around her too. Um, her spider webby sleeves got taken care of. They got the spider webby sleeves right. And they really went to town on the eyeshadow. They didn't go as hard on her eyeshadow in the original Funko, um, which I find odd because I'm pretty sure she wore the same amount of eyeshadow in both movies. But uh, I digress. I digress. <laughs> um, they really showed off the eyeshadow a little bit more in this one. Um, but I love it. I love the Sarah. I love this Sarah one. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. Now, to be fair, I do kind of want to get Gilbert, and I, you know, I got to have Izzy. I could honestly care less about this too, but, um, gotta have the two bottom ones. And she, I cannot find her anywhere. <laughs> I have been looking. These, my friends got these for me when they were on vacation in another city. And that's the only reason I have those. They couldn't, Winnie wasn't there, and I can't find Winifred anywhere around here. And I'm just like, where are you hiding, woman? <laughs> get, get over here and join the other two. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm waiting on that one. Now, these are much bigger. <laughs> these last two are much bigger, and I'm excited to show these off. And these were the Spirit Halloween exclusives, by the way. Um, the movie moments. This one is movie moment one. This is the first movie moment that came out. <laughs> that came out. Um, spirit exclusive. Uh, it is the sisters at the beginning of the movie around the cauldron. So, it's from the, from the start of the movie. Um, Sanderson sisters. Uh, the only difference... No way, they were wearing their cloaks in the beginning. I just had a brain fart. Sorry. They were wearing their cloaks in the beginning. They just didn't make them look older. Um, like they, like they were in the beginning of that movie. Um, but I like it. I like how they got them hunched over. Everybody's doing the hands like, hoo 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 uh, Evil laughter echoes into the night. Um, so there's that. Uh, I like this one a lot, but it is not my favorite. My favorite's the next one I'm going to pull up. But I do like this one. This would make a great centerpiece for somewhere. You can see on the back what it looks like. Uh, if you were to put, like, a background behind it or something, um... Mine's never coming out of the box. So, there's the first Sanders and Sisters exclusive moment. Okay, I'm running out of room on the bed. <laughs> um, here's the last one. 
Here's the last one. It is absolutely my favorite. It is absolutely 100% my favorite, and I will nitpick one thing, though. It's them singing I Put a Spell on You! <laughs> I love this one so much. It's their movie moment of I Put a Spell on You, another spirit exclusive. <laughs> um, and I really like it. They got the mics, they got them up on the stage. The only thing I'm going to nitpick, because we saw them throw them off, they still have the cloaks on. They don't wear the cloaks in that scene. As they're coming up on stage, we literally see all three of them whoop them off and throw them down. Hello, hello. My name's Wilfred. That's the one thing I wish they would have changed, is they are not in their cloaks in the movie, and they have them in their cloaks here. But apart from that, this one is my favorite of the two. <laughs> um, I just love this one because that scene is so iconic. That scene is just so iconic. It's the most iconic scene. Um, but I do, I do like this spirit exclusive one. Um, it is bigger than the other one in terms of the box, at least. Um, let me turn around the back here. As you can see, that's what it's, that's what it looks like out of the box. And then this was in the same series as the ones of them flying. So those were also exclusives um so there you go oh <laughs> books like please don't get any closer you're going to poke my eye out <laughs> um so there you go that is my funko collection that i have currently still working on getting a few more and there are two more they're at my desk at work <laughs> they're at my desk at work because i was well I forgot them. Let's just put it that way. And it's Billy and Danny. And I'm sad I don't have them here because I would have shown them off. But they're at work. So they guard my desk while I'm away. <laughs> um, so there's that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. It's free. It helps me. And what helps me helps you guys get more great content like this, even though it is kind of a day late. But I appreciate your patience because it was a long drive back from Atlanta. Um... I was at Ranger Stop this last weekend. I just got home yesterday when I'm recording this. Sunday when you're seeing it. Um, and I was very tired last night. It was a long drive. We lost like at least an hour because of traffic in Chattanooga and, and uh, Nashville. It was just... It was horrible. <laughs> um, and at one point we got rained on and I couldn't see anything. And I was just like, yep, definitely not doing a video tonight. Mm -mm, definitely not. So thanks for hanging in there and wait until Tuesday for this one to come out. Um, I appreciate it greatly because I needed the sleep last night um, after I got home. It was a great con, by the way. If you want to hear con stories, tune in on Thursday night over on my Twitch channel uh, for more fourth place Hogwarts Legacy as that will be continuing at 7.30pm Central Standard Time, 8.30pm Eastern Time over on Twitch.tv. We're going to have fun. It's going to be great. I'll tell you guys all of the con stories, because <laughs> um, I have a few, and they were fun. And then Saturday night, we're back here doing more Black Flame Gaming for Winifred Sanderson Plays Pokemon Heart Gold Vanilla Nuzlocke, um, right here on the channel at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to take on the first gym with her team of Pokemon that I'm not sure how many we're going to actually keep on the team right now. Um, I know we're at least keeping three. The other three are currently... Jury's still out. <laughs> Jury's still out on that. Um, we'll see. We'll see! Um, but there you go. So that's what we're doing the rest of the week. And then next Monday I'll have another video for you guys. Barring any difficulties, which I don't think I'll have. But who knows? <laughs> who knows? We never know. So if you're a regular on this channel, please remember to drop a like. Share your thoughts on these Funko Pops down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Casey Zilgelman, aka the fourth Sanderson sister. And I'll see you witches and wizards later. I am